What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and we have the weekly news. Now, there's not a huge amount to talk about today, and all this was really kind of understood was going to happen, so let's just get into this and uh, move on. Now, first things first, we are getting the rerun of last year's Winter Banners. Um, I'm going to be honest, I think most of these units have kind of been... I'd have to go re-evaluate them. We'll do a Before You Summon video tomorrow about all these units. Uh, there are a few rebalances and things like that that you need to know about. I don't believe they're added into the game files yet, but when we get the update, they might very well be. Now, we'll talk about all that in the Before You Summon video tomorrow, but if you don't have the Sesti, the Sesti is super useful, especially for a free-to-play, and she, you know, obviously being an assist, free-to-play assists are super, super, super useful. So, you'll have a great chance to pull her if you haven't, or I say... More or less assemble her because you get her from the tail. Obviously, there's a new tail, so that is going to mean more um, more Iris. That's going to be really nice. And hopefully, when we get these reruns, typically they give you the ability to farm books. And I really hope that that's the case because, man, do we need some books. So, fingers crossed on that one. Now, from this banner, I really feel like Haruhime is the real treat here. Haruhime is still extremely, extremely, extremely useful. So is Chigusa, actually. I really like Chigusa, and I use her on the regular, because Chigusa is another one of those units that has the 100% um, SAGH charge for herself. So Chigusa still has many, many uses in the game. I can't remember the last time I've used this Ryu, to be honest, uh, but once again, I've got to go through here. We're going to have some rebalances. We're going to have some, uh, basically, some discussions about that to talk about in tomorrow's Before You Summon video. But know that every odd pull is going to be 200 Iris. Every even pull is going to be 4 star guaranteed, which will be really nice. So if you're looking for, let's say, last year's Winter Haruhime, your odds of pulling are pretty good. So there is that. Plus there's, I believe, uh, three units per banner. But I believe uh, Haruhime and... Is it Haruhime and Ryu, I believe, are in each one? I think it's... I think that was how it went. Maybe it was, uh, maybe it was, um, I take the back. I actually think it was Miyaj. I think he was the one that was, uh, uh, on both banners, but it doesn't really matter. Odds of pulling what you want, pretty darn good. Uh, just basically think of this is the Haruhime banner. This is the Chigusa banner. If you want my honest opinion, you're going to get way more use out of Haruhime, but we'll talk about this when we get all the rebalances and information tomorrow. I would not expect any changes to her, except maybe, like, a little bit more magic. That's probably about it. Um, but we'll talk about all that when it drops tomorrow. So, good stuff, that. And we're getting a rerun of this banner. Now, that Ryu is actually still pretty useful. Um, this Aisha got a pretty decent rebalance, and she's very useful. Even to this day, still very good. At plus one, I used her for the longest time time uh this will be dropping on the 25th i believe this is actually dropping tomorrow so start gathering up some iris y'all i know i'm i'm super iris poor right now i went hard on these current banners and uh knowing these are coming yay <laughs> i need my Harahime, but i'm probably just gonna have to wail for it to be honest so lots of reruns coming well those of you that were saying oh we're probably gonna get a um uh, the another crossover event i wouldn't expect that until late in january as i told you guys i expected a rerun of the winter events um with the current winter events are here until the 23rd and this is dropping like a day after that leaves um notice it says 25th but this is all jp time so it'll be the uh, 24th for us um so basically the current one goes away we get a rerun of this that'll last about two weeks and then when that's gone then we're going to get some New Year's stuff. So don't expect collabs for at least another, I would say at this point, month minimum. Probably closer to a month and a half. So, yeah. Bear that in mind, guys. Alright. Seventh Zone's back. Unfortunately, we are not going to know typing this week. Uh, our data miner does have a personal discrepancy that uh, he is currently dealing with. So unfortunately, we will not have data mines this week. We're going to go into this one blind. But I think we kind of understand where seventh zone is at this week but uh i do want to um <clears throat> do want to wish our data miner all the best uh you know just in in his ventures he'll be back in probably two or three weeks give or take really depending on that's all up in the air at this point but seventh zone is back that's kind of a given record buster is a fire type could have guessed that probably could have guessed that 
So start preparing your water units. Wink, wink. Hint, hint. Water units are going to be king on this one. Uh, start preparing. Start. I bet wind probably won't be bad, too. I know wind usually is... Like, f w yeah. Wind is usually weak to fire, but... I, I'm going to guess wind and water, because that's what we have in the game right now. I'd have to go look at the pool of units that we've got, plus the reruns, but just expect water. Just start preparing your water teams. It's going to be pretty healthy. Um, Familia War Game. All right, so we need to have a discussion about this. Familia War Game is coming back, and this is coming back later this week, all right? So I believe tonight maybe is the last night. Uh, I'd have to open up the game. I believe tonight is the last night of... Uh, uh, both Familia Rush and the current war game run. So get your scores in, guys. Make sure you get your final scores in today because you need to be prepared for Familia War Game. We're going to have two days and two days only for people to join the Familias. Our Familia has some openings. Our Familia currently has two openings. We're going to be, uh, unfortunately, losing at least two people at the end of this event. So, start preparing now. If you want to join, our Familia is going to have uh, the, the, the Chestia main Familia. I believe two and three. I don't know what their, what their deal is. Uh, but if you want to join a Familia... Join the uh, Discord down below. We have the uh, the Cruise Suspension Bridge to Venezuela. That is my personal Discord. I'm not going to go into why it's named that, but come join the Discord. There's a uh, section there called Discord, or I'm sorry, uh, called Familia Applications. Fill out a familia, uh, familia application. If you're part of a Familia, we will reach out to you either later today or early, early, early tomorrow to let you know because we have to move fast on this. But we need people for the Familias. We've got to fill these spots up. We are hoping for a super high rank this time. We're being, you know, we're, we've are we been preparing this for this for the, at least the past week. Uh, in some of us, some of our cases, list last two weeks. So we need people for the Familia. Come join, guys. Uh, we're not a whale Familia. We're not, you know, going to be super anal. We do ask that you be basically participating every single day and if you're not you know king one king two level at the moment please give us 24 hours of your attention so we can work on teams i'm sure we can get you a really stellar team for this war game but familia war games guys it is back it will be kicking off later this week as of let's see what does the date say again it says as of friday on jp so i'm gonna guess that's gonna be thursday for us so you got Tonight, tomorrow, and midday Thursday it kicks off. After that, you cannot join a Familia. So be prepared. Be super prepared, guys. All right? So uh, notice that after that, there's a period here that says you cannot leave a Familia. Then on the 20th, that'll be the 19th for most of us, Master of Familia Wargame kicks off. Master of Familia Wargame is really, really interesting. That is where the top 16 Familias literally battle it out in a tournament to see who is the best familia of them all now while most people are going to be like you know uh whatever remember you can actually bet on which familia is going to win and if your bets are correct you will get a ton of rewards so you might want to pay close attention to the current war game and start speculating um, especially when Familia War Game kicks off. Like, you really want to take notes, guys. This is going to be epic. I think a lot of us went into the last one kind of blind, but a lot of us know how this works now. We'll talk about that in its own separate video, but uh, Master Familia War Game is going to be interesting. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, of course, with uh, Familia War Game kicking off, we're going to have a training war game that should be kicking off next week. Um... Maybe even running simultaneously with Record Buster? I don't know. But we don't have the dates, unfortunately. The dates were not dropped on us, uh, translated this morning. But we will have a training war game, which usually does run simultaneous with Family War Games. So kind of expect that. Um, actually, kind of expect it this week. So we'll probably have Record Buster, Training War Game, and Family War Game all at the same time. I'll take that. I'll 100% take that. That's rewards, baby. That is mad rewards. 
I would say I like Record Buster better than War Game, just because I like the PVE section of it better than the PvP. Because, I don't know, I, 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 I'm a control freak, and I like to feel like I have a little bit more control over the say of it, but some people really do like the PvP. And that's not to say I don't like War Game, but to have War Game and Record Buster simultaneous, it really will give you a taste of what you prefer in-game. It will keep you busy, but it's going to give you a little taste of what you prefer, so pay close attention, guys. That's all. Now, this week's anime unit. We have no idea. <laughs> no bloody clue. Who in the heck? I, I got no guesses. None. Whatsoever. Uh, if you've got a guess who it is, put it in the comment section down below. It is not a stereo, so I expect him next week. Um, I really kind of expect eyes. Either this week or next. I don't I don't remember. Are there... I think there's two or three episodes left. Whatever. I expect an eyes and I expect an stereo. So I, I don't know here. This is... I don't know. Mikoto's got the other magic sword. Maybe it's her? I have no idea. No clue. You guys got to guess. Put it in the comments section down below. But that is going to be all the news that we have. Sorry, it is... A little more sparse than usual, but we're getting some uh, we're getting some reruns where we're gearing up for Familia War Game, especially Master of Familia War Game. Once again, guys, if you need a Familia, join the Discord down below. Now there are two Discords. There is the Sardust Garden. That is another Discord that's got tons of great information in there. Absolutely awesome people. Very, very, very. Those are some of the people that have helped me out grow uh, in the past little bit, where I've gotten my scores better. Uh, great community uh join that discord but if you want to become part of the chesty familia join my discord as well the crude suspension bridge to venezuela which once again i will not explain right now it's a long explanation but i digress guys so much to do so much to uh behold pretty much with master familia war game that gets fun i will catch you all on the next one we've got a lot to discuss coming up here soon uh like comment share all that good stuff i'll see you soon